The Build Show is on the road today. We're in Nashville, Tennessee at the International Roof Expo. Now Sherwin-Williams paid my way to come. I'm gonna be speaking at their booth later today, talking about why I like metal roofs and helping these roof contractors switch their clients from asphalt to metal. But while we're here, I thought, let's walk the show floor, see what's interesting from a builder's point of view, and maybe see if there's some new or surprising things in the roofing industry. Let's go have a look. Hey guys, coming to you from the Stinger booth. Now you've seen me use these on a bunch of house wraps over the years, but I've typically used the slap tacker. I've not used their pneumatic. And I gotta say, they got some really cool pneumatic tools that I think I need to pick up. First off, they've got a new nail fastener. So you can shoot these 7 8 ring shank nails into these caps. But what I think is really cool for a general contractor like me is that you can use a staple fastener and they make these staples in 3 8 5 8 7 8 one inch and I believe inch and a quarter or maybe even an inch and a half actually so that you can put your exterior rigid foam on a house and use a different size staple. So same gun but different staple sizes and check this out they've really got their system down. Look how fast that is. Can you imagine putting a house wrap up or a foam let's say or a roof underlayment? Super fast and easy. Every time I've got no jams and I played with this for a while, this is a really cool system. Link in the uh, description for Stinger, but impressive product. If you want to capture Matt Reisinger's attention, you gotta do a display like this. I love seeing mock-ups. I thought this was cool. You know, I'm in the residential world. I don't do a lot of pan deck, but see that metal corrugated roof down there? They call that pan deck. It's basically a steel product that's gonna span very, very big distances on steel or metal buildings. How do you insulate this? This display shows that, I think this is cool. They've got like three or four inches of polyiso, and this is paper-faced polyiso, that they're gonna screw with a cap uh, fastener all the way down through there. Now that metal fastener that you're seeing there, that black one, it probably has an auger tip on there so it can actually bite onto the metal. And then how do you adhere the rest of the roof? What they're doing is they're using this adhesive foam. This is probably a one or two part adhesive. This happens to be at the Carlisle booth. And then they've got a protection board on top of that. It's basically kind of like a cement board. And then they're showing, showing two options for flat roofs, EPDM or uh, TPO on top. That's a cool display. I always like seeing how commercial buildings are built because we're just not around that in the residential world. Hey y'all, coming in from the Sashco booth. You may know these guys from this product. They've used a lot of this in houses over the years. Big stretch, but they've got a really cool new product for roofing that I've not seen before. They call it Through the Roof. This is a roof sealant that really will work on all kinds of different roofing. Kind of neat that it'll work in all different temperatures from zero to 120 degrees and it'll stick to wet. But here's what I really like about it. It's packaged in a six pack like this. I think it's funny they call it fast and deadly accurate. But this is what's new and cool, I think. They've got a lap joint nozzle that comes packaged. So you buy a six pack of this sealant for your roof. This nozzle that comes with it screws right onto their tube right here. And now instead of a standard tube joint, you can actually push out an entire one inch sealant bead just like this to cover a lap joint on a roof. That's pretty neat. This is the uh, Sashco booth and we're talking about the through the roof with their new Cobra tip. Now here's something I've never heard of, porcelain tile roofing. <laughs> I had no idea this was in the marketplace. Check this out. This is the same kind of porcelain tile you'd see in your shower, which of course your shower is a tropical rainforest compared to your roof in terms of number of inches per year. This is a made in the United States ceramic tile fired in an oven, you know, 2200 degrees. And check out this, it's pre um, kind of drilled so you can put your nails on it. And it's gonna go up very similar to kind of a hybrid between a clay tile and a slate tile roof. So here you can see it mocked up on this display here. In between them, so we can be waterproof at the seams, they've got this interlayment strip here. This is a uh, HDPE, high density polyethylene strip, which is gonna make your joints waterproof. But basically you're gonna lay it up very similar to what you do any other roofing. But this is gonna be around a long, long time. I mean, you could power wash this 
in 20 years if you wanted to, and that color is not going to fade. Nothing's going to change. We've all seen ceramic tile porches on houses that 30 years later looked pretty much like the day they were installed, except maybe the grout joints, and it's on your roof. There's no grout joints here. This is pretty impressive. I can see this taking off. A couple numbers and facts for you. This is going to weigh somewhere between 500 and 700 pounds per square, so actually a little lighter probably than your clay tile or your ceramic, um, or pardon me, or your concrete tile roof, so not bad on weight. And what I hear on cost is it's going to run maybe three to $400 per square for the material. So this could actually be a budget decision compared to some other options out there, but I think it's going to be around a long time. I would expect this is going to be certainly a 50, 60 year roof, if not maybe a hundred year plus. Okay, so this is a roof shingle that I've never seen before that totally shocked me. First of all, they had a hail demonstration going that they got shut down by the, by the fire marshal. But check this out, this roof shingle, they kind of had an interesting analogy. They said it's kind of like a TPO on steroids. This is no asphalt roof shingle. It's actually a polymer roof. Now it looks like a standard shingle. It's actually pretty light, but check out the back of this. This is actually a full polymer. So there's no asphalt in this. This is not your typical asphalt roof shingle that has a fiberglass matting on here. And look how thick that is. Pretty cool. Now they had a huge hail uh, test going here earlier. It actually has a five year hail warranty, a 15 year wind and a 15 year um, kind of fade and crack warranty, and then a 50 year warranty on the shingle. This is totally different than all the shingles I've seen in the marketplace. Pretty interesting. This is the F Wave Revia. Hey guys, coming to you from the FJ Moore booth. This is a Minnesota manufacturing company. And I love at these trade shows, kind of these corner small booths, because you always find some really interesting products when you go to the fringes of the show, and that's definitely this one. Okay, so look, this is something we've all seen as general contractors, builders over the years. Neoprene flashing columns. You've got a pipe boot that comes up, a vent stack. And before not many years, the sun absolutely destroys these. And look at the cracks on this one. Something I'm used to seeing all the time. They only really last maybe 10 to 15 years. These guys have a really cool solution. Instead of a neoprene collar, they've got a slip collar. So they've got a really nice steel that's been Kynar painted or some cool um, coating on there on top of galvanized steel. But this is the secret sauce right here. They've got two flavors here. They've got one that's a plastic or they've got one that's plastic, or pardon me, aluminum or galvanized with a lead top. Now let me explain why this is cool. Number one, the roof can have some ability to move a little bit and you're not gonna have a leak there. So you don't have that neoprene gasket needing to flex over the years and be in direct contact with the sun. Instead, you can have lead that's gonna be in direct contact with your roof jack or with your, uh, pardon me, with your uh, vent pipe coming through the roof. You're going to tighten that down and now you've got lead on the top. Or if you're worried about squirrels chewing through that, here's the other option. This is a plastic one that fits tightly over there. You're going to get this for your different size pipes. And look what you can do with this. You're going to cut this at the top so it's perfectly sized for your pipe. You're going to order this for your pipe size. So you need to get on the roof and count your inside diameter. So this is a three inch, they make two inch, they make all the different sizes. And then you're actually gonna cut this and you're not just gonna slide it down, you're actually gonna glue it in. And this is what I thought was really, really cool and made me perk my ears up, where you're gonna use PVC cement between this collar and your pipe. So now there's no possibility of leaks here. This is pretty cool. I, I got a chance to talk to Brian, the owner of the company, and it was his grandfather that patented this over 100 years ago. So we're talking about second or third generation of ownership. A little small booth over here. This is a big upgrade, whether you're doing new construction or you could absolutely use this on a retrofit if you're doing re-roofing, or even if you just had a leaky collar, you could change this out to this. Cool little booth. We'll put a link to these guys in the description below. You know, as a roofing contractor, my guess is there's nothing worse than finishing a really well done job and getting that call from the homeowner, Mrs. Jones, two days later. I found a bunch of nails and debris in my bushes. Check this out. This is a cool system that I think will solve a lot of the common problems for a roofing contractor. This is basically a catchment system that's gonna catch all that debris and keep it from getting in the bushes of your client's jobs. It's gonna start in the gutter. They've got a gutter placement that's gonna drop in there. So as you're dropping shingles off the house and all that debris, you're not gonna ruin the gutters. Next, you've got this tarp system that comes underneath the eaves, and it's got a kind of a weighted, uh, almost a weighted rake, basically, that's gonna hold it all in place. And then from there, you've got another 
for lack of a better term, fancy tarp that's gonna go underneath that. So you're gonna shingle these together and then look, you've got handles on all this. It'd be super easy at the end of the job for the roofing contractor to grab two guys, fold this up, take it over to the dump trailer. Very cool system. You can get more information on the catchall.com, but from what I understand, it's about a $4,000-ish dollar system for this, and you get 150 linear feet of the house covered. So you're gonna cover most houses with just one system. But here's the other thing I really like about this. See where it says the catchall? That's their website, the catchall.com. They're gonna print this with your company logo. So if it's Reisinger Roofing, they're gonna print Reisinger Roofing on there, and everybody driving that job is gonna see that you care about the job and that you've taken precautions to keep those nails out of the yard. And I think that's a big, that's a big thing for me as a builder and a contractor is showing to my clients that I care. And if we show that, they're gonna give us a lot more grace if they do find a nail later than if we don't take any precautions and we're doing nothing but a magnet broom after the job. The catchall.com, you can find out more. Check this out guys, we're at the Roden House booth and these guys have some really cool products for exterior insulation, including a gun that shoots it. So look, if you're doing a steel building and you wanna insulate on the outside, how do you attach that fastener? First of all, you're gonna need something like this. And apparently this is about to be released at local home centers that you could buy this because there's so much exterior foam going on. And they also have a commercial version of it. And look how it's set up. You're just gonna pop that fastener on. It's got teeth to grip right in, so it's gonna stay. And then they sell this gun too. This is a partnership with Senco. And they've got this little bullseye tip right here so that you just index right on there. How cool is that? Look at that screw. It's got that auger or drill bit that's gonna drill right through the metal and then fasten that on. That is pretty cool. And now we could insulate on the outside of that metal building with a continuous insulation. And we've got that plastic fastener so it's not gonna heat up. They've also got some that would work with Rockwell as well. So you've seen me use Rockwell with some metal washers. With that plastic washer on there, you're not gonna heat up. That's pretty cool. Last thing I wanna show you from their booth, if you're doing insulation on a concrete basement, let's say, here's your basement wall. You pre-drill this, and then you can use this fastener. This is just gonna pop in with a hammer, and because you've got those barbs on there, kind of like a Christmas tree, it's gonna pop into the hole and then hold your insulation on. I'll put a link in the description for these guys, but this is Roden House Inc. International Roof Expo 2019. I expected this to be nothing but rows and rows of asphalt shingles, but in fact, I saw some really interesting stuff here. A couple other booths I didn't really get a chance to film at, but I thought were interesting is they had a product called the GOAT. It was basically like a shepherd's hook that you put on top of the ridge of the building and you climb a ladder. I can see general contractors absolutely using that to get back on a roof on a previous job. Another thing I thought was pretty cool for a GC like me is I'm always dealing with sweeping up and they had a really cool uh, kind of electronic broom. I think it was called Haga. You could buy a battery operated one or a manually operated one, not cheap, ranging from about 400 bucks to 2000 bucks. The man, it looked like it would pick up on your job sites really, really quickly. Guys, thanks for joining me for these videos. I'll try and put a link to as many of the products that we uh, showed below. And I wanna say thanks to these guys in the background. Sherwin Williams is the ones who paid me to come to the show. I'm about to give a speech on metal roofs, why I like them, I and hopefully we're gonna talk more roofers into selling metal for those clients instead of asphalt shingle roofs. Guys, if you're not already a subscriber to The Build Show, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.